hello guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to be looking at task 20i all right the question says open the file that you saved in task 20h add a new label category into cell d2 d2 okay place formulae in cells d3 to d21 to display very experience for employees with 10 or more years experience otherwise to display not experienced okay okay so let's delve into the question now i have my uh, tax 20 h open already right so i'm going to simply save it as tax 20 i right good so let's go let me find my folder Okay, good stuff. We're here. Okay, so remember, you're supposed to save it as, uh, as Excel workbook, right? Good stuff. So I have tax 20i right there. Okay, and then I save. All right, so um, from the question, we're supposed to put a label called category. Category, oh my God, category, right? Okay, in here right so um from the question we are supposed to also place a formula in cells uh d3 to d21 to display this very experienced and then if if not otherwise display what not experience okay good stuff i think i've gotten the gist of the question okay so which means that for c or uh, three we're going to check in this within this place okay for d for c3 we're going to check whether it is um um greater or equals to 10 so if it's greater or equal to 10 okay we're going to have it's going to display very so we're going to display very experienced in d in d3 right so if not we have it will display not experienced okay so let's let's do that okay so i'll have if i'm going to use small letter this time just uh, for the phone so I'm going to have um, C3, which is here, greater or equals to 10, right, comma, and then I'm going to have, uh, in quotation mark, I'm going to have um, very experienced. So when it's true, we have very experienced, okay? It will display very experienced. Experienced, what am I, what am I doing, XP? Rinsed. good stuff all right so um so when it is um so we're going to have come up right there and then have another quotation mark okay in between it we're going to have not experienced so i'm going to explain that uh as soon as i finish xp rinsed okay so now let me use the formula bar to explain explain this so, so now okay let me just enter enter that okay so I'll use the formula back to explain that. So which means so um the condition we're going to use, of course, the function that we're going to use to for this for this question, of course, is uh, the if uh, function. All right, the if function. Okay, so the first part of this will be the condition. So the condition is C3 is greater than or equal to what 10. That's the condition. So the second part, the second part here which is very experienced okay is when the condition is true okay so the, the third part will be what when the condition is false okay so for our so for the first one here okay not experienced okay so which means that um, three years experience of course is less than what is not greater than or equal to 10 so of course it's not experienced right so remember that I did not lock or I did not make uh, this uh, first condition an absolute um, uh, cell reference. So which means that I expect I expect um, C3 when I replicate the formula, I expect a C3 to change accordingly to C4, C5 down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I can really double click. I double click and then uh, I replicate the formula. Okay. So everywhere you see. Uh, that uh the number of experience in um um c column is greater than or equal to 10 you have very experienced anywhere that it is less than that or anything outside that 
is going to have what not experienced okay so i hope this answers your question for this part okay um if you have any question please leave a comment down below i'll be glad to answer that okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos and uh, also share all right thank you so much for for listening and i'll see you in the next video take care bye